Hi, this is Tali Berman, and welcome to part three of my video series on how to help your child with autism and meltdowns. So what we're talking about is how to help prevent meltdowns for your child, but also how to help manage meltdowns. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a lot of additional things, supplemental things that I've seen to really help families. But before I get into the strategies for today, if you have missed part one, please go over here, click on the link. That is a really important video to watch first. It sets the foundation really for the rest of these videos. Um, and you can also watch part two by clicking the link right over here in that corner um, to give you another really important strategy that I think is often missing for many kids who have really tight schedules who go from one therapy to the next, and this is one that could really, really be missing. So check out part one and part two before we get into part three. Um, all right, so today what I want to talk about is some additional things besides the ones I mentioned in part one and two that can really help your child. We talked a lot about physical input, exercise, and sensory input as a way to help organize your child, release frustration and anxiety, and help your child have a calmer uh, inner being, which will help him not need to have meltdowns as often. So here are some things that can be additionally supportive. I have four different things I want to talk about today. One, if you haven't investigated this yet, and I use this for myself and for my kids all the time, is Bach flower remedies. So Bach flowers are remedies made from flowers that really help support children and adults, all people, on an emotional level, um, help you to feel more calm, more inner peace. Um, and there's some simply drops that you can take that I've seen to really help children who are moving through trauma, really release that and have a much easier, more flexible um, way of life. So definitely check out Bach Flower, that's B-A-C-H, Flower Remedies, um, as a way to further support your child, both during a period, acute period of meltdowns, you can give it to him or her throughout, but also maybe in the midst of a meltdown is giving some flowers that might help him or her begin to calm down. So Bach Flowers is one supplement I use. I use it with my kids. I have since they were little, and many families that I know have found them to be really powerful and successful. Um, the second one is essential oils. So essential oils is a whole different combination of essential oils, but there's specific ones that are for, for calming effects. Um, I'd really encourage you to look into essential oils as something that your child can, can smell, can wear both preventatively, you know, put it on every day, twice a day. My, one of my kids, um, my almost 10 year old, uh, Yonatan used oils last year for focus and attention at school. He put it on the back of his neck, put it on his feet. Um, twice a day, you know, as much as we could, and that was really helpful to him. So essential oils is something you can explore, but also it, it helps your child key into the sensory piece I was talking about before. It takes him out of the chaos and brings him to the sense of smell, which again is very grounding and very anchoring. So it could even be that you put someone on a, on a cotton cloth and he smells it um, in the midst of a meltdown. The third piece if you haven't explored this yet, is overall biomedical intervention. So, um, for example, one of the families I work with, her child has autism and pandas, which is an autoimmune disorder, and often during his pandas flare-ups, there were a lot of meltdowns and sort of aggressive behaviors, and working with a biomedical specialist has helped really boost his immune system so he's feeling better. You know, it's amazing. It's really making an impact for him, and as he feels better, he's having less outbursts. So what I'm really talking about here is addressing this from an internal perspective, ways that we can offer support to your child by really supporting him from the inside, you know, through the, through the smells, through the flowers, uh, flower remedies, or for biomedical intervention. And one last piece I want to just add is, which is sort of unrelated to those three, but I think it's still an important one to mention, is oftentimes meltdowns come from a sense of lack of control, a sense of unpredictability, a challenge in transitioning from one activity to the next, a challenge in things not going the way they had expected to. So you might be listening to this and think, yes, totally, that's exactly what my kid melts down. So I want to just talk about the importance of really creating a schedule for your child, ideally a visual schedule for your child. I know one of the families I worked with, she would run errands. and Every time she would go on errands with her kid, it was like a meltdown in aisle three, a meltdown in aisle four, just, you know, Target, Toys R Us, it was just meltdown central. So really which, what we talked about is giving him a sense of here's what we're going to do first, 
Here's what we're going to do next. He had a picture for each one. He had the pictures with him. And simply knowing where they were going and where they were going next and having that sense of control and predictability helped him feel like he has a handle on things, right? He knows what to expect. And that in and of itself helped him to relax and feel less stress, which then obviously the stress led to a meltdown. So that was a huge shift for them and allow their outings to go much, much more smoothly. So these are just some additional strategies I wanted to add before we wrapped up this series. The Bach flower remedies, essential oils, biomedical intervention, and a, a visual schedule and really explaining to your child what's going to happen, who they're going to see, what they're going to be doing with pictures if possible so that he can really know what to expect. So I would love to hear from you. What is one strategy from today's video that you're really going to learn from and implement with your child? I would love to hear from you. Also hear if there's strategies that you have used that haven't been mentioned in this video series that you would love to add and share with others. We have so much to learn from each other. Parents of children with autism are the most resourceful people on the planet. So please be a support to others. Share any strategies you've come across that have been very helpful. Scroll on down, leave your comment below. And if you're watching this video anywhere other than my blog, hop on over to www.tollyberman.com because that is where the conversation happens. I look forward to hearing from you there.